the fair value of the shares was rated at £628,680 and Doriac received 75% of that sum £471,510, a reduced amount as she was found to be a bad lever. I cannot agree with the judge's valuation of her shares in Signia Wealth, however, the sum she has been awarded for those shares represents a tiny fraction of the £20 million she was seeking, Codwell said in a statement. Doe Reacts' other claims were all dismissed with a judge. He rejected Doe Reacts' allegation of conspiracy, saying he had no such intention in this case. Doe Reac, who was described by the judge as a remarkably unsatisfactory witness, also failed with her claims that Codwell procured or induced breaches of the articles and the shareholder agreement. However, the judge did back Codwell's contention that Doriac falsely claimed £33,000 worth of expenses in addition to her six-figure salary. Smith said, I do not necessarily accept that Signia's business was as successful as Ms. Doriac sought to present it. But even if it had been, Ms. Doriac's justification of her expenses does not hold water, Codwell added the amount she was awarded is vastly outweighed by the legal costs she incurred during the case. He also stated Doriac in last year's bitter two-week court battle has left him deeply scarred. During the case, Doriac alleged Codwell asked her as a last-minute condition of jointly setting up the business to give an undertaking to him not to have any further children, a demand she refused to consent to. On the other side, Codwell told the court, Doriac is the most amazing liar I've ever met in my life. She's Machiavellian and the vast majority of everything she says is a complete fabrication, he also claimed he loved her, but she oversaw a reign of terror while running Signia and added former staff members claimed she threatened to ruin the standings of those who disagreed with her with allegations of illicit sex and drug use. Codwell yesterday stated his delighted Doe Reac was found by the judge to have been dishonest, combative, aggressive and argumentative during the case. Inside Signia Wealth the case also shown a spotlight on Signia Wealth, revealing that when Doriac left in 2014 it had £835 million of assets under management AUM. Out of this total discretionary AUM, 57.01% was invested by Codwell, with a further 12.57% described as Codwell-related, it was also revealed Codwell paid less than half the charges of other Signia clients. With his fee at 0.25% compared to 0.57% for third-party clients, he also heavily financed the firm, extending an earlier loan facility of £6 million to £10 million in 2012.